Hey friends, my name is Brandon Bruce, and I'm a pastor at Faith Church, and I want to introduce you to our church staff, and while we're meeting them, I'd like to ask them a quick question. That question is, how do you worship God in your daily life? So, let's go meet our staff. Alright, this is Chris Hennerman, and Chris Hennerman is our community life pastor. Let's see what he's doing. Chris, what are you doing? Good morning, Brandon. How you doing, bud? What's going on, man? Oh, I'm just getting some base miles in before summer gets here. Woohoo! So, Chris, I'm amazed. Well, let me ask you a question while we're here. How do you worship God in your daily life? Oh, I love nothing better than getting up early in the morning. You know, because nobody else is up bothering God at that time of day. And uh, if I can, I sit on my deck, watch sunrise, read some, pray some. Absolutely the best way to start today. Right on. Thanks, Chris. You betcha. All right, now let's check in on Judy Gabbard, our church office manager. Judy, what are you doing? Hi, Brandon. Uh, what, when did you get here? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, working. Working, right. Yeah, well, Judy, while we're here, let me ask you a question. How do you worship God in your daily life? Well, every morning on my commute in from the Big Bird, um, I pray and um, talk to God and thank Him for the things He's done and, um, and ask for requests of anybody else that might have any needs. Right on. Thanks, Judy. All right. Well, hey, let's go check in on Joanna Bennett, our newest staff member, who is our administrative assistant. Let's see what she's doing. She's not here. Well, I guess while we're here, let's check on Jen Neal, our children's director. Maybe she's in. No Jen Neal either. Maybe they're downstairs. Let's check downstairs. That's not downstairs. It's that time to let the rhythm intertwine. To sit on the you know what? I hear some music in here. Let's see if maybe they're inside here. You feel me all around. Now why don't you get on up? Get on down. What are you doing? Um, guys, what are you doing? We were we were practicing for jump town. Yeah, right. You're practicing for jump town. Okay, well, I guess while we're here, let me ask you guys a question. Joanna, how do you worship God in your daily life? Well, I really worship God through nature. Like, I'll be driving along and I'll see an incredible sunset or a beautiful tree or something. It just really, God speaks to me through that. I really just see how amazing and awesome He is and it just makes me worship Him. Awesome. Jen, how about you? How do you worship God in daily life? Well, lately Chisholm and I have been reading a devotion before we go to bed at night. Very cool. Very cool. Right on, guys. Hey, let's go check on Linda, our facilities director, and see if we can find where she's at. Let's see if Linda's in here. You schedule a dog? What's that? A D-A-W-G, Day Alone with God. Oh, that's pretty cool, Linda. Right on. And you spend time alone with God in that, in that whole day. Once a month. whole day alone with God. Very cool. No phone, no TV, just me and God. That's awesome. Well, thanks for your time, Linda. Have fun working. Be yourself. And we would not want you to be anybody else. Just feel free, freak like a clown. Why don't you get on up? Get on down. All right, let's check in on Scott Ferguson, our student ministries and media pastor, and see if maybe he's working. Scott, what are you doing? Uh, I'm practicing, man. What are you doing, man? Like, are you kidding me right now? What are you doing? It's a long day, man. <laughs> it's napping. All right, well, 
Scott, while we're here, let me ask you a question. How do you worship God in your daily life? Uh, I, I try to listen to as much worship music as possible and, and just kind of reflect on the words. Uh, obviously, when I'm not napping, I try to do that. So. Yeah. All right. Thanks. Right on. Thanks, man. Right on. All right. Well, hey, hold on one second. Aaron, what are you doing here? Well, just like college, I have to do all the work because somebody's napping. Wow. Well, Faith Church, I guess there's only one thing left to say. I have a lot of work to do. See you later.